Welcome to Technoanalyst. Today we will configure DHCP server in server 2022. In my last video, we already configured DNS and Active Directory domain service. And after that, we add one Windows 11 system into domain system. So now we will uh, add a, configure a DHCP server. And we also we check uh, that uh, after configuring DHCP server, a client system take IP from DHCP server or not. So it should be take IP address from DHCP server what we configured over here. So we will start. First of all, we have to go to the manage, click on add and remove roles, click on next role based features based installation click on next here you can select the operating system where you want to configure dhcp server select next click on dhcp server click on add features click on next 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 install yes. restart the destination server automatically if required you can restart it if you want it. For technical perspective, it's better uh, we should restart the system. After installation complete, you can see over there in blue color text complete DHCP configuration. Just close it. It will create a two group security group which is DHCP administrator and THCP users. So now in authorization, click next, create two security group as I told you. In and it's showing that restart the DHCP server to target a computer the following security group to be the effective. Click on next, click on close. On the small flag, you can see uh, the processing steps over there. Click on refresh and click on notification. You can see over there configuration required installation is succeeded on system with the roll.com. The our installation is completed for DHCP. Now we will configure the DHCP for this system. So just on dashboard click on DHCP. You can see DHCP is installed on the system. Just go to the let's go to the tools, click on DHCP. Now the DHCP is installed and you can see the IP version 4 and IP version 6 and there is we will create a scoop for IP version 4 create a new scoop click on next give a scoop name whatever you like like I will give you my LAN Here also I will mention the my lane in the description. Click on next. Here you can mention the IP range to distribute as a scoop. Like 191.6.1.25 and the end IP address will be 191.6.1.200 Here you can exclude IP address, the range of exclude IP address you can mention over here. Suppose uh, we will give from 25 to 50. This should be excluded. I will use this for the printers and all other things while configuring so i don't want to give this ip address to any users 
so from 26 to i will okay i will from 26 to 50 we will exclude this ip when you mention exclude a range click on next click on next click on next yes if you have a router IP address you can mention router IP address we don't have that so we will use a server IP address 192.168.1.5 is our server IP address click on add click on next here also we can see our domain name over there our server name is already over there so we don't require any other IP address but this is for win server configuration click on next keep is blank not as it is not required this configuration do it activate the scope now click on next yes finish the scope is now activated my LAN. now you can go to address pool you can see over there 192 from 1.25 to 1.26 this is our exclude ip address range so this ip address should not allow to any system so which system which ip address should system will take it should take ip address Yeah, it should take IP range from 192.168.1.51 to 200. So the system, whatever the we configured right now first for a DHCP, it will automatically take dot fifty one IP address. Let's see, it will take dot fifty one or not. So this is our server. DHCP server uh, task is completed right now. So now uh, we have to check our network is communicating with each other like Windows 11 system is communicating with Windows Server 2022. So for that we create a now DHCP server. So in VMware we have to configure or mention that this is our create a network like uh, this is our private network what we create so we will check we will change the setting in network adapter so here i will choose a custom network so here i will choose a custom network vm net 0 vm net 0 i will choose click ok same thing i will apply on windows server 2022 in like on network adapter i will choose a custom specific virtual network which is vm net 0 click ok so now this private network will communicate with each other let's go to the Let's go to the change adapter setting in Windows 11 system. It's showing whether it's identifying the network. We have to wait. It's showing unidentified network. Still, it is showing identifying a network. It's showing network 3 over there. Now, check network status. It should be changed or not. See, it's showing that 192 was to 1.51 and uh, subdivide 250. Default gateway is 1.5, which is our server IP address. And DHCP server also, what we configured as a router, it should work, which is 1.5. And IP address is take 1.51. As I told you earlier, that uh, we exclude range till 2, 
1.50 so I will show you this in a notepad I already typed it that the, it should take a range, IP range from 51 to 200 so this is how successfully we configure a DHCP server and we add a client in a DHCP server okay now we will see uh, our system resolved in uh, address list so our windows 11 system should be resolved in address list it will show show you that uh, system resolved or not just click on refresh okay, you can see that you can see that system 191.51 is resolved in address list you can see that system name and it is configured as a type in the type you can see it's configured as a dhcp type and you can see the domain name over there so this is how you can successfully configure a dhcp server and then successfully add a client please so that's it for today's video please subscribe